Just prior to commencing work on Scala Somba, I had experienced an intensely busy and emotionally brutal couple of years, in which I had lost to terminal illness all three of my cats, my dog, and then finally my father too. During this period, I had designed sounds and composed music for several games, most notably RimWorld, made by Lugin, and Introversion's BAFTA award-winning Prison Architect. To stay professionally positive, 
and therefore be able to write the mostly emotionally neutral or happy music that these games required was not easy, but was nonetheless essential. On many such occasions, alone in my studio, I could feel the proverbial thumbs of my own truth pressing remorselessly ever harder into the eyeballs of my soul. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's what it felt like. <laughs> because you're, you're, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're feeling pretty bad, okay? Um, but your job professionally is to always, as a composer, stick to the story. That's 99.9% .9 of the time what you have to do. You, you, uh, you're there to um, amplify the emotions, and the emotions really are coming from the story, the narrative. And if those emotions happen to be along the lines of, well, the player's building something here, um, they're probably feeling quite, quite uh, happy or positive or motivated, well, that, in a way, is the story, isn't it? If you start making um, music that's, that's very dark and depressing, then it's not going to work, you know, and you're, you're, not, um, you're not doing your job properly. So, um, for me as a professional, it's absolutely of paramount importance that you don't let what is um, wanting to seep through the pores of your soul um, interfere with the music that you're, that you're writing. So it's almost like you need to be two, two separate people. Um, and when life is, is hard, when things are going bad, well, then the amount of effort, or perhaps as a, a, uh, a neuroscientist or psychologist might call it, the amount of cognitive load um, you need to apply in your mind is, is greater. It was one of those years where you started to think, well, what else can happen? Um, perhaps an asteroid's going to hit the house next or something. As it turned out, we had just finished Prison Architect when my father passed away. What should have been a time for joy, jubilation and a sense of pride and victory was instead usurped by feelings of nausea, anger and devastating loss. And again, that's true. I mean, it sounds like a very sad story. Um, sounds like I'm almost looking for sympathy or something. I'm not, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I've been working on these games for quite a long time, you know, some of them for years. And releasing a game or, or finishing it, it, it's a great occasion, it really is. You put your heart and soul into these things. And, um, and it's a great team effort as well. And there's that feeling of, we've all been in this together, and, and here we are, we've done it, we've made it. And actually, it's pretty good, what we've done. I had this massive conflict, this big dichotomy, kind of like something that you know should be a massive event. Almost felt like it was being taken from you. In all truth, henceforth, what I desperately needed most of all was to be authentic. I needed a new project to write for that could offer me a legitimate vessel into which I might pour all of that dark, rancid despair and negative energy that I had bottled up inside for so long. Well, this is true. If it, um, authenticity, uh, passion, feeling it in your soul, um, it's all true. All of those cliches, you can't play the blues properly unless you've lived it, etc., etc. Um, that really is true. Sure, you can fake things, but um, I do believe that, uh, well, lots of art forms. Music, definitely. It's a bit like um, magnetic tape, you know, the, the, the recording medium of magnetic tape. It, it can <laughs> almost like it can store your vibes, not literally. I'm not, I'm not uh, being literal there, like some kind of esoteric magical thinking. Um, I'm just being metaphorical. Um, but, you know, you listen to certain pieces of music and it really moves you. Um, and then sometimes when you, you find out something about the composer's life or what they were going through it it, uh, it kind of makes sense and what I really really needed uh, was something like that to work on what I needed was a bottomless pit of never ending doom where all hope must be abandoned where only pain and grief can thrive somewhere that would need the kind of music I had wanted to give birth to for an entire year and that was Scanner Somber When once 
I got an idea of what Scanner Samba might be about, I was absolutely elated. Um, I was delighted for different reasons too, um, because uh, it was it was talked about fairly early on that it might also be a virtual reality title, and I hadn't worked on a VR title. Um, I grew up reading and watching science fiction where things like VR seemed way off in the future, and indeed they were. Um, and the idea of actually working on something that was at the very early days of, of VR really excited me. Plus, the, the idea and the story, the main game, um, was, was fantastic. I thought it was brilliant. Um, there's something about playing the finished game and how it feels. It's a bit, the game's a bit like one of those pieces of music, right? Where it's managed to, it's almost semi-shamanic in a way. It, it, it has this, this otherworldliness, yet at the same time, it, it, it crosses the gap between one world and this one. Um, and that's what I love about it because, because you don't really quite know what's going on when you start playing it. And then the, the further you get through the game, the more it starts to feel what you know, what's going on here, what's actually going on. Um, initially, it's well, what went on with these ancient people that lived down here, and then as the game progresses, it's, it becomes more about you. It's like what's actually gone on with me. Um, it is very dark. It is very lonely. It is claustrophobic. It is oppressive. Um, you do feel like you want to be up and out in 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 the sunshine and the fresh air um, and be reunited with the world that you you know best and you know most but here you are you're down here in the darkness and the damp and the loneliness and um, and you're so vulnerable all you've got is that lidar scanner and if and if that fails if that goes out you're lost will anybody ever find you probably not but you've got to keep moving forwards you've got to try and make it to the surface and then when you get to that surface that's when <laughs> the real, true horror hits you. But yeah, yeah, it was absolutely perfect for me to work on at that time. Um, I had wanted to write music that was disturbing and dystopian and dark and uh, lost and oppressive and claustrophobic and lonely and angry as well. There are elements of brooding anger um, and malignant intent in that music as well. Like the late level, you know, what goes on there. There are brief moments of relief where, um, where the vibe changes. Um, and uh, when Chris talked about the, the art style for the river level um, and we, we looked at uh, some pictures of some caves I think in New Zealand that had these glow worms on the roof and we talked about what those glow worms may or, or may not uh, represent uh, you know I, I, quite, I quite like the idea that maybe they represented the souls of all the people that had been through these cave systems before and got trapped there and you know here, here they were almost like glow worms um, or were they stars, you know? Does it represent the infinite, but you're trapped inside this cave? I don't know. Um, but it gives you this respite, this break. Um, yeah, so that was, that was, that was nice. <laughs> and then we returned to the darkness of, uh, of the other levels. Being able to pour all of that um, stuff I was feeling inside into Scanner Somber was, was just perfect synchronicity. I think if I'd had to work on another uh, happy or neutral or kind of constructing type game soundtrack, um, I may have gone mad. So in many ways, I want to say a big thank you um, to all the guys at Introversion because um, being part of the team that made Scanner Somber pretty much saved my sanity. Um, I'd like to say enjoy the music and enjoy the soundtrack, but how can you enjoy this? <laughs> how can you enjoy something so depressing? I, I hope the experience is a good one. <laughs>